how to purge the air out of a out of a jack so first things is number one it says before first use remove the cover plate to expose the oil field plug so this is the cover plate on this one if you can see it's slotted so you just simply push that direction and you hear that pop and then you just lift this off that's your cover plate then it says place end of handle over the release valve turn the handle counterclockwise three full turns so this is the number two so you place the jack um, handle over the release valve which is this valve here and then you turn it counterclockwise three turns so take the jack put it on there so we're gonna go halfway one halfway two halfway and that's three so that's three three full turns it says remove the handle from the release valve insert handle into the handle socket rapidly pump the handle six to eight times so you want to place the after we removed it from here I'm going to place it in here and it says rapidly pump it six to eight times and I'm going to sit this down and just hold the jack for uh, stability while I do that. And I just pumped it eight times just to be on the safe side. And number four, you see this is the picture number three of what we're doing. Next is number four, purge the air. It says with a flat blade screwdriver, push the oil field plug slightly to the side to purge trapped air from the system. Okay guys, so I've zoomed in so you guys can get a good look at this is the oil field plug. The instruction state with a flat blade screwdriver push the oil field plug slightly to the side to purge the trapped air from the system so what we're going to do if you can see this says oil field plug so this is where your oil goes into your jack and again i'm just going to hold the jack for stability and then we're going to just go under here and just push over and you may hear a, a slight sound of um like a hissing sound of, of air coming out And I heard a slight uh, release of air. And that cap is the paint's coming, paint's coming off of that. I don't know why it was painted uh, red, but kind of looks like the gasket was cracking, but it's just red paint, which makes no sense. But the functionality is what we care about and a little bit of oil came out with the air so I'm just gonna wipe that up and guys the next thing it says to replace the cover plate Turn the handle clockwise until it stops. Jack is ready for use. Check the proper pump action. And it says, note, repeat procedure as needed for best jack performance. Now, what I'm going to do is repeat that step again. Because I want to do this three times. Because I people who have uh, purchased not just this jack but other jacks, um, I've heard them say that they've gotten better 
results out of the process and their jacks actually perform better and last longer when they have um, done that procedure uh, two or three times. So I'm just going to do this procedure three times. It won't hurt anything. All we're trying to do basically is purge as much of the air out the jack as possible so that the strength of the hydraulic fluid in the hydraulic system will um, will be intact. Um, so I'm going to repeat the procedure again, starting with the second um, step, which is place the end of the handle over the release valve. Turn the handle clockwise three times. So here's the release valve. We're gonna go clockwise. We're gonna go counterclockwise. Three full turns. So that's one half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. It says remove the handle from the release valve, which we've done. Insert the handle into the handle socket. Rapidly pump the jack six to eight times. So I'm going to do that again. Place the jack handle in, and then we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It says then with a um, with a flat blade screwdriver, push the oil field plug slightly to the side to purge the trap air from the system. So we're going to purge the air again by pressing uh, with the flat blade up against the rubber gasket, the rubber seal to release air. And guys, no air came out. Just a little bit of oil came out. So what I'm going to do is call that good because we didn't have any extra air come out. And then we're going to skip to the next steps now that we have that done. And it, now it says uh, replace the cover plate. So now we're going to replace the cover plate put the cover plate on you just simply these two pieces here and the, there's one on the other side you just simply lay this down like that and then you push it that way and the cover plate is locked in place now the cover plates in place the instructions state turn the handle clockwise until it stops so we're going to place the jack handle here and we're just going to turn it clockwise and as you can see it's turning and we're going to do that until it stops and it's stopped I can turn it no more and after that it states the jack is ready for use. Check for proper pump action. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to check the jack for the functionality of the pump. So we're going to place the handle into the jack and then we're going to push and each time you should see the jack lifting and then I